We bow down and worship Yahweh. We bow down and worship Yahweh. Oh. Oh, we bow down and worship Yahweh. We bow down and worship Yahweh. Mm -hmm. Yahweh, 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 sing it on, sing it on, Yahweh, 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 mm-hmm, mm-hmm. We bow down and worship Yahweh. We bow down and worship Yahweh. Oh, 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 Yahweh. Yahweh, 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 we bow down and worship Yahweh. We bow down and worship Yahweh. Yahweh, 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 Yahweh. Yahweh. Glory, Lord, Yahweh, 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 to my God, Yahweh, 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 glory to my God. Yahweh, 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 honor, power to my God. Greetings, everybody. Welcome once again. It's your favorite girl, Princess Cleetum, Queen of Hearts, and <laughs> laughter. Thank you all for being a part of a chapter a day today. I don't take it for granted. I'm very excited. Thank you for always stopping by. Today was like Buddha Day, Big Buddha Day in Thailand. And they were actually honoring the monks and doing some stuff for them and all that. It was really beautiful. Um, I'll definitely someday somehow put up pictures or videos of whatever happened. But that's fine. That's great. So today our Bible party is taken from the book of 2 Samuel chapter 22 second samuel chapter 22 and he has 51 verses that is an average long read averagely long read okay so thank you all for being here thank you all for being a part i don't take it for granted i'm very very much excited aquava mr a morning daniel aponsa thank you for coming it has been a while hope your painting and decoration and making place Places look beautiful 
job is so ongoing and God is blessing it tremendously. I love when God blesses great works, you know that. So yes. Okay. So we're going on slowly but surely with a chapter a day. I hope that you all are loving it so far. What do we do on a chapter a day? We get to make you know who you are in Christ, the power you possess, the things you can and cannot do, should or should not do, could or could not do, so that you can live a beautiful Christian life here on earth and end up spending eternity with God in heaven. Heaven in view, that's the whole idea. Oh yeah. We trust and hope and desire to end up spending eternity with God in heaven. So yes. That's why we come on here every single day, studying the word of God to know the things that are allowed and the things that are not allowed. So we can avoid the ones that are not allowed like a plague and then stick to the ones that are allowed in the very best way that we can as God gives us the grace. Okay, so we normally pray, pray, pray and pray and pray on the chapter a day. So like I always say, and I always advise, if you're someone who doesn't like prayer, we are so sorry. You are probably in the wrong place. But if you love prayers, you're here. We are not sorry that we're praying a lot on a chapter a day. Yes, we love it when we pray. So you just have to manage. Just bear with us, right? Just enjoy the prayer process. Okay? You have better love it for your own good. Okay. So we actually sing, get on here, pray, hand over the session to God, and then we do the birthday party, and then we pray for the birthday people. And then we do the Bible party, and then we pray and thank God for the session. Okay? So we do lots and lots of praying. Oh, uh, yeah. So let me get on now and uh, do this. Our Bible party and birthday party is going to go on immediately after the prayer. Father, we thank you for this day that you've made. We rejoice and be glad in it. We thank you for all the amazing things you've done, you're doing, and you're still to do. We thank you for the great times, the difficult times, the challenging times, and the lovely times. We really, really do appreciate you because you're a great God. You're a faithful Father. There's none like you. There's none who can be compared unto you. All of the gods before your throne of grace are idols. Lord, we want to say thank you. We truly want to thank you from the depths of our hearts. From our hearts of hearts, we just say thank you. Increase while we decrease, so it's going to be you and you alone that will be seen, felt, and heard throughout this session of the chapter of our day today. We know you are the great God. Take preeminence, both now and forevermore. For in Jesus' mighty and blessed name we pray. Minister to each and every one of us in a very, very special way. Because we desire to know you more. We desire to get you loving up on us and doing all those amazing things that you've promised you will do for us. Take all the glory, but now and forevermore. For in Jesus' mighty and blessed name we pray with thanksgiving. Amen. Amen. And uh, amen. Amen, people. So let's get on. Um, like I said, our Bible party is 2 Samuel chapter 22, and it has 51 verses. Let's get on with the birthday party first, and then we'll go to the Bible party. The first person is Mr. Blaze. Nyang. Mr. Nyang Blaze is actually my classmate in when we're at the university. He's a very nice person, very fun to be with. There's never a dull moment with him. Very straightforward, sometimes to a fault. <laughs> and what else? He was very smart too. Okay, that's Mr. Nyang Blaze for you. Happy birthday to you, sir, and God bless you. The next person is Mr. Wilfred Wando. Mr. Wilfred Wando, we got to know each other on Facebook. We had to meet, but I'm not sure if we if we finally ever met. I'm not sure we did. I'm trying to figure out if we did meet. I'm not sure we ever met. We're planning we're going to meet, but I think he came to Dubai when I left. or I, I don't know, but I think we bypassed each other. He's also a very nice person, very caring. He's always one of those persons who always pushes me like, Oh, you're doing a great job. God bless you. Keep doing your work. Keep getting better and all that. I really appreciate it. Sometimes when you all come and encourage me, you watch these videos and tell me what you learn and tell me to just keep keeping on. It's really beautiful. I'm so grateful for it. I'm so, so happy. And I can't thank you guys enough. I just can't thank you enough for always being there for me. I really, really do appreciate you guys. And I pray and pray and pray that God will do you all really awesome. Okay, 
and then the next person is mom tony mom tony we actually met when we were in dubai she was um i used to call her my spanish guitar because she's so cute and she has this spanish like of shape kind of thing and then um she was very welcoming very friendly um very outspoken i just took a liking for her you know how when you meet people and they're your bunch i wasn't surprised that me and her we clicked of course we were both born in july how would we not click how is it how is it not possible for us to click i don't think there's any july person i don't click with i don't think so so far i've not met any july person i don't click with i don't think i don't think i've ever met anybody who was born in july i don't click with i don't think so i've not met them yet i've not met any so happy birthday to you mom tony god bless you Keep doing the good work that you're doing. Keep being your lovely self, your sweet personality that you are, and keep changing lives. Okay. So happy birthday once again to Mr. Young Blaze. Happy birthday to Mr. Wilfred Wando, and a very special happy birthday to Tony, my Spanish guitar. <laughs> okay. So let's pray for the birthday people and get right on with our Bible party. Are you ready? Ready or not, here I come. Let's go, people. Um, Bible party, Second Samuel, twenty-two, and one to fifty-one. Okay, so let's pray for the birthday people before anything else. We have to pray for these people. We have to intercede for them. We have to put them in check and put them where God would have them be. Sorry, people. I need to get this off. It's distracting. My key brother made me get on something and so it's distracting. I had to get off. Sorry. Oh yeah. I have to get off. Okay. We're good to go now. Father, we thank you for all these amazing people who were born today. We thank you for giving them an additional year. We thank you, O Lord, for making it possible for them to live right up to this moment. We thank you that even as you open those beautiful pages upon their lives, write awesome stories that will leave them singing literally for the rest of their days, if it's already to come. They'll be dancing, rejoicing, and just praising you for your goodness upon their lives. Father, we just want to bless your holy name because you're a faithful father and there is none like you in all the earth. So, Lord, we give you all the praise. We pray, O oh Father, that you're going to cause these ones to be trailblazers, pace setters, and wall changers in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, that you cause them to go to levels and lengths that only you can, no man can, O oh Lord. Father, I pray, O oh God, that you teach them your ways. You teach them your part, O oh Lord. That they are going to be trailblazers, wall changers, and pay setters in the mighty name of Jesus. You give them all that it takes to be able to go and conquer their world. Divinely connect them to people and things that will cause them to progress and be their best. And divinely disconnect them from people and things that will cause them to stagnate or retrogress. Lord, I pray, O oh God, that you're going to open doors for them that no man can shut and shut every door that is not of you. Lord, I pray that you deal with every devourer at their open doors. You deal with every adversary at their open doors in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, I pray that you're going to bless them tremendously. Endlessly, oh God, you're going to give them all that is necessary for them to grow and be their best. You're going to give them all that is necessary for them to move to their next level. Lord, I pray that you're going to open opportunities for them that will cause them to stand out and not fit in because they were called to stand out since you created them to solve unique problems. There were solutions to problems when you created them, when you formed them in the wombs of their parents. So Lord, we pray, oh God, that you're going to cause them to be able to find these problems and solve them perfectly oh god that they're going to walk the part that you've created for them they're going to leave out that purpose that when they get to a point where they feel overwhelmed they feel like they want to give up or back out they're going to hear a loud clean clear voice that's going to say this is the way walk down in it and they'll walk in that part and their lives will never be the same again they'll walk in that part and their lives will be transformed they'll walk in that part and they'll make a difference in their generation Lord, perfect all that concerns them and give them a sounds 126 state a state of continuous laughter and singing in the mighty name of jesus let your blessings come upon them the choices of your blessings as a shield and encompass them round about so that no weapon formed of fashion against them shall prosper 
and let these blessings also overflow upon their lives so people who come in contact with them will literally rub off of the blessings and give god praise thanks and adoration thank you heavenly father because i know you always hear an answer thank you king of glory because i know you always hear an answer take preeminence both now and forever man because you deserve it you are faithful god you never sleep nor slumber you never fail so lord we just want to say thank you we thank you so much from the bottom of our hearts because we know you will do for them more than what we can even think ask or imagine open their eyes and give them an understanding to know those they're supposed to be destined to help us too and let them be strategically positioned and available when those people need help and you're also going to strategically position destiny helpers all around their lives. So when they also cry out for help, help is going to be made available instantly. Thank you, King of Glory. Thank you, Abba Father. Let whatever the lady hands on prosper. Wherever they tread their feet upon, give it to them as a possession. Lord, we thank you. We just honor you. We magnify you because there is none like you. We give you all the praise, all the honor and adoration because you deserve it. Thank you, Lord, for your loving kindness. Thank you, Lord, for your tender mercies. Thank you, Lord, for loving us even when we, we seem unlovable. Lord, we are grateful for all that you do. We are grateful for your tender mercies. We are grateful for your loving kindness. We are grateful. Thank you, Lord, oh God, for blessing this birthday, people. And we know that you're going to take them places. Let money meet money in their pockets. Blessings meet blessings in their lives. Favor meets favor in their lives. Even as you clothe them with a the garment of favor, love and abundance thank you lord god because i know you always hear an answer in jesus mighty and blessed name we pray with thanksgiving and all the saints shall say amen 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 let it be so amen 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 in their lives amen as we have prayed amen let it be in their lives let it be so amen 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 in their lives amen as we have prayed amen let it be in their lives let it be so amen 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 in their lives amen as we have prayed amen let it be in the life of silver prayers. Amen, 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 amen. With the blood of Jesus. Amen. Let it be so. Amen. In the lives as we pray. May the good Lord so bless you all. May the good Lord so lift you up to the top and give you all the strategies and techniques that are necessary. To not only get to the top, but to permanently stay there. We know it's the master strategies, so we say thank you, Lord, for hearing and answering. Even as they call on you, show them those great and mighty things which they know not. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen, people. Let's get to the Bible party. Party. Bible party. Let's get to the, the Bible party. 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 Let's get the Bible party started. Doom, doom. Let's get the Bible party started. Doom, doom. Let's get the Bible party started. Let's get the Bible party started. Doom, doom, doom. Okay, people. I love to dance and sing. That's why I always do those kinds of things, okay? So you all should bear with me. Second Samuel chapter 22, and David spake unto the Lord the words of this song in the day that the Lord had delivered him out of the hand of all his enemies and out of the hand of Saul. And he said, the Lord is my rock and my fortress and my deliverer, the God of my rock in him will I trust. He's my shield and the horn of my salvation, my high tower and my refuge, my savior, thou savest me from violence. I will call on the Lord, who is worthy to be praised. So shall I be saved from mine enemies. When the waves of death compassed me, the floods of ungodly men made me afraid. The sorrows of hell compassed me about. The snares of death prevented me. In my distress, I called upon the Lord and cried to my God. And he did hear my voice out of his temple, and my cry did enter into his ears. Then the, ear, then the earth shook and trembled. 
the foundations of heaven moved and shook because he was wroth. There went up a smoke out of his nostrils and fire out of his mouth, devoured. Coals were kindled by it. He bowed the heavens also and came down and darkness was under his feet. And he rode upon a cherub and did fly. And he was seen upon the wings of the wind. And he made darkness pavilions round about him, dark waters and thick clouds of the skies. Through the brightness before him were coals of fire kindled. The Lord thundered from heaven, and the Most High uttered his voice. And he sent out arrows and scattered them, lightning and discomfited them. And the channels of the sea appeared. The foundations of the wall were discovered at the rebuking of the Lord, at the blast of the breath of his nostrils. He sent from above. He took me. He drew me out of many waters. He delivered me from my strong enemies and from them that hated me, for they were too strong for me. They prevented me in the day of my calamity, but the Lord was my stay. He brought me forth also into a large place. He delivered me because he delighted in me. The Lord rewarded me according to my righteousness, according to the cleanness of my hands had he recompensed me. For I have kept the ways of the Lord and have not wickedly departed from my God. For all his judgments were before me. And as for his statutes, I did not depart from them. I was also upright before him and have kept myself from my iniquity. Therefore, the Lord had recompensed me according to my righteousness, according to my cleanness in his eyesight. With the merciful, thou wilt shew thyself merciful, and with the upright man, thou wilt shew thyself upright. With the pure, thou wilt shew thyself pure, and with the froward, thou wilt shew thyself unsavory. And the afflicted people, thou wilt save. But thine eyes are upon the haughty, and thou mayest bring them down. For thou art my lamb, O Lord, and the Lord will lighten my darkness. For by thee I have run through a troop. By my God have I leaped over a wall. As for God, his way is perfect. The word of the Lord is tried. He is a buckler to all them that trust in him. For who is God? save the Lord, and who is a rock, save our God. God is my strength and power, and he maketh my way perfect. He maketh my feet like hands' feet, and setteth me upon my high place. He teacheth my hands to war, so that a bow of steel is broken by mine arms. Thou hast also given me the shield of thy salvation, and thy gentleness had made me great. Thou hast enlarged my steps under me, so that my feet did not sleep. I have pursued mine enemies and destroyed them, and turned not again until I had consumed them. And I have consumed them and wounded them, that they could not arise, yea, they are fallen under my feet. For thou hast girded me with strength to battle. Them that rose up against me hast thou subdued, under me. Thou hast also given me the necks of mine enemies, that I might destroy them that hate me. They looked, but there was none to save, even unto the Lord, but he answered them not. Then did I beat them as small as the dust of the earth. I did stamp them as the mire of the street, and did spread them abroad. Thou also hadst delivered me from the strivings of my people. Thou hast kept me to be heard of the heathen, a people which I knew not shall serve me. Strangers shall submit themselves unto me. As soon as they hear, they shall be obedient unto me. Strangers shall fade away, and they shall be afraid of their closed places. The Lord leave it, and blessed be my rock and exalted be the God of the rock of my salvation. It is God that avenged me, and that bringeth down the people under me, and that bringeth me forth from mine enemies. Thou also had lifted me up on high, 
and that bringeth me forth from my enemies. Thou also hast lifted me up on high above them that rose up against me. Thou hast delivered me from the violent man. Therefore I'll give thanks unto thee, O Lord, among the heathen, and I'll sing praises unto thy name. He is the tower of salvation for his king, and showed mercy to his anointed, unto David, and to his seed forevermore. This is the word of the Lord, and all the saints shall say, Thanks be to God. There's going to be a lot of singing and praising God through this chapter, because Whatever the summary of this thing is, David was in hard, hard situations, in difficult moments, in challenging times. And he remembered and went to God. He called on God and God saved him. He said it was so hard. God did a lot of things for him. God dealt with his enemies. God subdued his enemies for him. So sometimes when we win some battles, when we have some victory, there's a tendency of us feeling like, oh, we did it. No, it's all God. It's all God. When we win battles, it's God who is making us win those battles. It's God who is helping us win those battles. We can't do it on our own. We can't do it by ourselves. God helps us. And so when he helps us, we need to praise him. We need to go out there and sing. And the Bible says, um, the Lord is my rock and my fortress. He's my deliverer. There's a song that says, Thou, o Lord, are a shield for me. My glory and the lifter out of my head. For thou, for thou, for thou are a shield, a shield for me. My glory and the lifter out of my head. And he delivers his own. God always does. He's the fortress and the righteous run to him and they are saved. He's a strong tower and a mighty fortress. The righteous run to him and they are saved. I don't know where you run to when you're in distress. This is David. He was in distress. I call on the Lord who is worthy to be praised. The Lord is worthy to be praised. So shall I be saved from my enemy. The Lord live and blessed be the Lord. Let the horn of my salvation be exalted. Altered, Hosanna, blessed be the rock, and let the horn of my salvation be exalted. I will call upon the Lord, who is worthy to be praised. I will magnify the Lord. Who is worthy to be praised? So shall I be saved from my enemies. The Lord reigneth. Come on. Blessed be the rock. And let the horn of my salvation be exalted. The Lord leave it. Blessed be the rock. And let the rock of my salvation be exalted. Oh, okay. So this song came out from Second Samuel chapter 22, verse 4. I will call upon the Lord. Okay. And it says, when the waves of death compassed me, the floods of ungodly men made me afraid. The sorrows of hell compassed me about. The snares of death prevented me. I, in my distress, called upon the Lord and cried out to God. And he heard my voice out of his temple and my cry entered his ears so as a child of God you need to be rest assured you need to be all confident that as you call out to God in your distress in your joy moments in your sad moments he hears you out of his temple he hears you he hears you he sees you he sees each tears that is falling. He sees all those tears that you're crying out. And he's about to do something. People. Then the earth shook and trembled. The foundations of heaven moved and shook because he was wrath. When God is wrath for your sake, he would do and undo. He can change things for your sake. He can make mountains move. He can cause water to flow in the wilderness. He can make a way where there seems to be no way because he can call things that be not as though 
they were. He can call things out of nothing into becoming something. Trust this God with all your heart. He is a great, great God. And he says, and he rode upon the chariots and did fly. He was just giving God all this glory that God is, is due to God. He was just giving all this magnified and beautiful, magnificent picture of how he saw God. And that's how God is. God is just all glitter and glamour. We really can't explain it. But when you have an encounter with God, you know exactly what I'm talking about. It's inexplicable. It's inexplicable. And he says, And he made darkness pavilion round about him in dark waters and thick clouds of the sky. Through the brightness before him were coals of fire kindled. Oh my God. The Lord is going to kindle people's hearts to do the things they have to do for you. The Lord is going to make um, 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 climates, weathers, people um, um, maybe rules and regulations in some countries to work in your favor. It doesn't matter what they've said. It doesn't matter how it has been. It's just the flip of the finger and things will change for your sake. God has done a lot of things in my life for me to know that he can change rules and regulations for my sake. He has done it several times. Time without number. I can't even count. He has done it uncountable times. Thailand was one of the worst of them all. But he brought me through. And so I know there can't be any other that will be worse than that. If he did bring me through all of that, he will bring me through any other thing that is going to happen in my life again. I know he's that faithful and he's that trustworthy. So the Lord thundered from heaven and the Most High uttered his voice. His voice when he comes, every knee must bow, every tongue confesses, everything stands still and is answerable to his voice. The Lord will speak on your behalf. The Lord will speak on your behalf. And he sent from above. He took me. He drew me out of many waters. The Lord is drawing you out of that situation. He's drawing you out of that problem. Just stand still and see the salvation of God. He's drawing you out of that tiring situation. He's drawing you out of that exhausting place. He's drawing you out of that not so good situation. The Lord is ready. Hold his hand. Put your hand into his hands and let him lead. Let the Lord have his way and he will blow your mind with the things that he can do with you, for you, and through you. He brought me forth into a large place. He delivered me because he delighted in me. The Lord delights in you, child of God. As much as we are in awe of who we are, that God is mindful of us, he's just mindful of us. He's just mindful of us. It's not something we did or didn't do, but it doesn't mean that we should just keep doing anyhow, anyhow, because he delights in us. Must we keep sinning so grace may abound? Of course not. It says, the Lord rewarded me according to my righteousness, according to the cleanness of my hands, that had he recompensed me. God will recompense you for how clean your hands are. So don't say that you're just going to live your life anyhow. Because if you do, you won't get any, you won't get any compensation. You won't get it. You probably will go to heaven, all right, because you've accepted Christ as your personal Lord and Savior. But compensation, you ain't going to get nothing. You ain't going to get a thing. I used to say, if I just slightly enter into heaven, and even if I'm living in the streets of gold, I'm in heaven. No, but now I want a mansion. The Lord says in my father's house, there are many mansions. I've gone to prepare a place for you. Why would I want to stay in the streets? If it's that beautiful that they're mansions, I want to be in one of such mansions. Like, what? What are you talking about? So I have to do everything it takes to actually get rewarded and recompensed. Yeah. For I've kept the ways of the Lord and I'm not done wickedly. 
and have not wickedly departed from God. We have to stay connected to God, child of God. If you want all these amazing things to keep happening to you, you want all these awesome victories to be a continuous thing for your life, to be a lifestyle for you, you have to stay connected to God. You don't have to disconnect. You don't have to disconnect. I do not depart from his word. I do not depart from his status. I do not depart from all his commandments. I stayed connected to them. He said, do not forsake the assembly of the brethren. I was there. He said, do not be uh, a thief. Give your offerings and tithes. I was there. He says that you should love one another. Be your brother's keeper. I was there. He Just obey him and see what he's going to do for you. Therefore, the Lord has recompensed me according to my righteousness, according to my cleanness in his eyesight. There is a way God sees you. And when you do your part, he knows in your heart, even when you make mistakes, he knows in your heart of heart that you had a clean heart. And that's why he still blesses you. He still does some of those amazing things he does for you. With the merciful, thou will show thyself merciful. And with the upright, thou will show thyself upright. And with the pure, thou will show thyself pure. And with the forward, thou will show thyself unsavory. And the afflicted people, thou would save. But thine eyes are upon the haughty, that thou mayest bring them down. See, if you're a haughty person, you will come down. Say, pride goes before a fall. God just doesn't want to see haughty people. He just doesn't want to see those people at all. But if you repent and come to him, he'll take you and fix you up. He's a fixer, but he would. And he says, for thou, O Lord, for thou art my lamp, O Lord, and the Lord will lighten my darkness. The Lord is my light and my salvation. Whom shall I fear? Whom shall I fear? The Lord is the strength, the strength of my life. Whom shall I fear? There's none that I can be afraid of. And says, for, for by thee I've run through a troop. By my God have I leaped over a wall. As for God, his way is perfect. The word of the Lord is tried. He's a buckler to all them that trust in him. Oh, yes, God protects and keeps and secures and brings manifold and awesome victory to the people who trust in him and the people who believe and stay connected to him. For who is God? Save the Lord. And who is the rock? Save our God. God is my strength and power. He maketh my way perfect. He maketh my feet like hinds feet and setteth me upon high places. God is setting someone on a high place today. For all that you've been doing for the kingdom, for all that you've done, for, for staying faithful, for staying trustworthy, for staying connected to the Lord, the Lord is about to set you on high places in Jesus' name. He teaches my hand to war so that a bow of steel is broken by my hand. Oh yeah. I love this prayer. Teaches my hand to war. Oh yeah. Thou hast given me the shield of thy salvation, and thy gentleness hath made me great. Thou hast enlarged my step under me so that my feet do not sleep. And the Lord can just do unusual things just to favor you. He says he can give nations for your sake. If he gave his only begotten son for your sakes, what else is it going to behold from you? What else? No, think about it. People, let's think about this thing critically. This man gave his only begotten son to come and die for us. Then you think he's going to withhold what from you? What? Career? Marital status? Um, childbearing status? Um, which other one? Social status? Ministerial status? You think those are the things he's going to hold from you? It's all in the salvation package, people. And there's more. There's even better. But we have to get stayed on him. He says, he who abides in me and I in him will bear much fruits. And the vine, yeah, the branches. Stay connected. If the branch would eventually bear fruits and have beautiful leaves, they have to stay connected to the vine. I remember when we, when we used to be young, my, my dad used to trash her sometimes. He would just cut the branch of a tree. When that branch is cut off, it still looks like fresh, fresh, fresh kind of. Give it some time. It's time. <laughs> Give it some time. It's going to be so dry and cranky 
and it has lost all its nutrients because it is disconnected from the source for which it was collecting nutrients to be the way it was supposed to be, to grow the way it had to grow. That was giving me the next of my enemies that I destroyed them that hate me. Thou art given me with strength to battle. Then thou rose up against me. Thou hast subdued under me. Yes! And I have consumed them and wounded them that they could not arise. Yea, they have fallen under my feet. So, Lord, consume them. I pursued my enemies and destroyed them and turned not again until I consume them. Lord, give me the grace. Lord, empower me until I consume them. I ain't going to turn around. Yes, because some enemies are very stubborn. They don't want to change. They don't want to repent. They don't want to get things done right. So, Lord, deal with them. Deal with them. Give me the grace. Give me the, the, the strength to subdue them, to destroy them. That hates me in the mighty name of Jesus. And it says, and I did beat them as small as dust. They looked, but there was none to save them, even unto the Lord. But he answered them not. Then I did beat them as small as the dust of the earth. I did stamp them as the mare of the street and did spread them abroad. Thou also had delivered me from the strivings of people. Thou hast kept me to be head of the heathen, a people which I knew not shall serve me. Strangers shall submit themselves unto me. As soon as they hear me, they shall be obedient unto me. See, there are times when you stayed in the presence of God and you just open your mouth and speak. Favor just begins to flow. People that barely know you will just begin to do things left, right, front, back, and center for you. Why? Because God has made it so. God has made it so. It says, strangers shall fade away and they shall be afraid of their closed places. The Lord leave it and blessed be my rock and exalted be the God of my salvation. The Lord leave it. Blessed be the rock, let the horn of my salvation be exalted. The Lord leave it, and blessed be the rock, let the rock of my salvation be exalted. So this David's song is like in the whole of this chapter, from the start to the end, it was just praises that he was singing to God and just, I will magnify the Lord because he's worthy to be praised because he deserves all the honor, all the praise and adoration. So we should take our time. Sometimes we don't need to go to God and ask for bread and butter. We don't need to go to him and ask for chocolate. We don't need to go to him and ask for nothing. We just need to go to his presence and praise him. And the funny thing is he happens the praises of his people. So if you're praising him, you're actually calling him down because he's not going to send nobody to come and take his praises for him. No, he's going to come to take his praises by himself. So that's why he inhabits the praises of his people. It is God that avenged me and that bring it down the people under me and that bring me forth from mine enemies. Thou also has lifted me up on high Above them that rose against me. Thou hast delivered me from the violent man. Therefore I will give thanks unto thee, O Lord, among the heathen, and I will sing praises unto thy name. He is the tower of salvation for his king, and sheweth mercy to his anointed, unto David, unto Cleton, and to his seed forevermore. When God has decided to show mercy on you, he shows mercy on you. There are some things that people will struggle for. You just get it with ease. There are some things that people will do all kinds of things for. And God is just going to put it to you on the platter of gold. Why? Because he has a reason. He knows a reason why he's doing these things that he's doing with you, for you, and around you. He knows that you're well able. Sometimes we don't see ourselves as God sees us. For the most part, most other people see us the way God sees us, but we don't see ourselves like that. It's about time we start studying the word of God and looking into the word of God to know what is binding and what is not binding. So that when circumstances arise, when the flood rages and all those things come to being, we know that we're safe and secure in God because we know what he promised. We know what he has said. We know what he stands for. The Lord is good. He's extremely good. And I pray that today he's going to favor you in every way. Ways that you even could not think 
or imagine. That's exactly how it works, people. That's exactly how it works. May the good Lord bless, keep, and perfect all that concerns you. In Jesus' mighty name. I always get to say I love you so, so very much. But God loves you way, way more. Get to like, share, and subscribe. Don't forget to hit the notification bell so you get all our updates each time we upload a new video or we get to go live. Of course, we have our YouTube, our, our audio Bible on YouTube, on TikTok, on Facebook, and we're looking forward to Instagram. God bless us all. Have a great day. Ciao, ciao. Mwah. Father, we thank you for today. We thank you for your word. Pray that it's going to be engrafted on the fleshy tables of our hearts. We're going to be doers and not just hearers. You make us live in a peace of red of men because some people will never read the Bible but only our lifestyles. Thank you, Lord, because I know you've heard and answered us from the bottom of our hearts. We pray. Amen, people. Until tomorrow. It's going to be 2 Samuel chapter 23. Then we'd have just one more to go. <gasps> this was so fast. Thank you, Lord. I'm always very much grateful. Ciao, ciao. Mm -hmm.